Okay, so some ecology basics. What we're going to do in this video is just define the key terms related to ecology. Um, it will be worth making notes. You can pause the video at any stage um, and just get your head around these key terms. Um, firstly, we'll start off with two really important terms in terms of ecology, um, and these are the terms biotic and abiotic. Now, what we what do we actually mean by biotic and abiotic? Well, this kind of derives from the word ecology. Ecology derived from the Greek for house, eco, meaning house. Um, it's about studying where things live. Um, so what we're interested in is studying the relationships between living things and their environment. And this really drills down into the two really important words within ecology. The first being biotic. Biotic meaning living factors, organisms, anything related to organisms um, and, and the study of them. So this can include the, the organisms themselves or it can be things that relate to the organisms. So it could be things like predation where organisms eat each other, competition where they compete for resources, or it could be more to do with populations and those kind of things. So how many? And we'll talk about that in a second. Now, abiotic, this means non-living physical factors. So this can be things like temperature, weather, climate. It can be to do with the rock that something lives on, the soil, um, anything like that. It basically involves anything that's physical or non-living. So these are really important key words that you need to get your head around um, in order to understand ecology. Now, from this, we can then start to dive into some really key terms with regards to ecology and the ecological study. So really get your head around these, this, build a glossary of terms um, before you start to study the subject in more depth. These are the key words that we're going to work through. Feel free to pause the video at this stage and just have a go at guessing or working out what these words actually mean. You might know some already. Now we'll start with biosphere. Biosphere essentially is the area of earth occupied by living organisms. So this is includes the land, and the sea, and it may include the air for birds as well. Biome, biome is, is essentially broken down by distinct areas of plant communities with a shared physical climate. And this is generally something we're gonna look at a bit later on in the unit. Um, and it, it, it relates to temperature and precipitation, and it relates to the, the, the plants that grow there. Further down into this then is the ecosystem, and ecosystem is the interactions between biotic and abiotic factors, um, and how those things interact. Further to this again, then is the habitat, and the habitat is simply the natural home of an, or of an organism. So that's where it lives. Okay, um, community. Community is the group of populations, two or more species to make up a community um, at the same place and the same time. So this can be about a plant community. It can be about a community of animals. It can be about a community of plants and animals. And we'll study communities as we go through the unit. Now, similar to a community, but not the same, is a population. A population relates to one species. It's the number of individuals in one species. This leads us then into our key term, species. What do we mean by species? Now, a species is a group of organisms who can reproduce to form viable offspring, okay? So species is quite distinct. It's also quite controversial in terms of how we define the species. A lot of ecologists will disagree about this, um, but this for this particular unit, it's acceptable as a def definition for the species. And then to finish up, an organism is a living thing. And this a living thing is something that can move, it can reproduce, it, it has senses and sensitivity, it can grow, it respires, it excretes, and it needs nutrition. These seven characteristics make up a living thing. And organisms can be down to as small as a bacterium, or it can be as large as a blue whale. Okay, that covers the basics in terms of the key terms for this video. Um, you can have a go at the quiz now, which takes you through, um, make sure you understand these key terms.